How's it going YouTube? Back with another sugar free review. We've got a new brand of the channel and probably one you haven't heard of until the edge. Oh that's pretty cool. Never noticed that. Get a sticker, microfiber cloth. That's about it. Mine came with or I ordered the blue micarta version. But he sent Ultim scales too, so I'll put them on there. And surprisingly, I like it. Uh, good looking design. As soon as I seen this on Instagram, I went and picked it up. Um, good price, $60. So it's pretty easy. Love the thumb hole knife and good looking blade. Until the Edge, the intro. It's the name of this knife, or UTE intro. It's got a 3 inch 14C28M blade. It looks like a belt satin. Um, yeah, flat grind. We'll call this a drop point. You got a 3mm blade stock, or a 3.1mm blade stock, or 0.12 inches. Let's see how this thing cuts. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I'm not sure who the OEM on this is. I asked the owner, he did not tell me. Uh, he just kind of skipped around the question. <laughs> uh, got an overall length of 7.2 inches, so in that mid size range, I guess you could say. Let's compare it to some other knives. Got the new Civivi Nugs. Just a hair bigger. The Bowie Pirate. Uh, pretty close. Maybe a hair bigger. Got. Another thumb hole knife, the Mega on Carex. A little bit bigger. And the Kaiser Hiccup. It's very close, a little bigger, but close. Got a 4.25 inch handle, 0.47 inches wide. Close width in the pocket from here to here is 1.2 inches. You got T8 on your minimal hardware. There's a screw underneath the scale, but only one on the front scud. Yeah, besides the clip, only the pivot. Weight of 3.35 ounces. And as you can see, there is weight relief cutouts. The clip is deep carry. You do not have flat screws, but the clip is inset, non-reversible. And the handles. Um, I'm gonna pull out the original ones in a second, but got kind of, looks like a, almost like a diamond pattern milling on the Ultim. This is what it came with, blue micarta. I didn't order the Ultim scales, he just sent them. I don't know if that was an accident or a gift or something. No clue. But not huge in the Ultim, but it does have milling and matches the brass backspacer like perfectly. Um, I do believe they have a thumb stud version too. I'll link the website down below. It does ship from China though. It took 15 days for mine. Maybe more or less for you. Your deployment methods, of course, you got this unique front flipper. Easy to use. Of course, your thumb hole. It 
as you can just see, pretty good action. And this is a inset liner lock, pretty good access. Uh, lock up, pretty good. As I just mentioned, there's a brass backspacer, nice little added touch on the budget off. You have a lanyard hole. Here's one thing they could have done better. Um, the edge runs, ends right at the plunge ground, so they could have moved that back for a sharpening tool. Let's go over all my disc locks. Um, clip is non-reversible. I know that'll be a miss for some people. The clip has writing on it too, which is kind of kind of makes it look cheaper. I know they got to put their logo somewhere, but that's not really the place for it. Either put it on the pivot, put it on the inside, or write it super small at the bottom. I don't know. Um, last one, mine had a burr. Um, right where the pivot, not the pivot, but the detent ball goes into the blade. So the action wasn't that great when I first got it. I took it apart and sanded that spot. Yeah, very smooth now. Yeah. Cool knife. Definitely worth the 60 bucks. Um, can't speak on how long the edge will hang last or anything but good looking design seems like it's made pretty well besides the little burr yeah I'll have it linked down below if you want to pick one up the only place that has them is his website so I believe this is his first design yeah subscribe if you haven't already give me a like and a comment and see you on the next one